on there folks earthmaster here checking in on october 4th 2020 807 p.m on this sunday evening there live look at uh, yellowstone national park right there and that is not the sun coming up over the mountains there uh, that is the moon in fact uh, looks like they may have their uh, sometimes they have their night vision camera on there at yellowstone national park so that's kind of why it's so bright and at uh, the moon being in a almost full stage like that kind of lights up the ground and uh, makes it look like it's daytime so it's pretty cool to check out uh, once the moon is over those hills there, or mountains, I should say. Taking a look at the earthquake 3D globe over here on the right side of the screen here shows uh, pretty active all over the uh, Pacific plate here uh, to the north and also to the south and central part over here towards the Indonesia Islands. That has ultimately relieved pressure out here along the west coast uh, where we have seen the earthquake swarm there in California pretty much die out. Uh, we did see a 4.5 there. Yeah, in the Gulf of Mexico or the uh, Gulf of California here near Baja, Mexico, earlier uh, in the day today, but for the most part, activity has dwindled down in California. Here's the USGS map here showing that activity over the last 24 hours. Uh, zooming into this region here down near the Salton Sea, still little, still a little bit of activity there. You can see this little cluster of quakes, but nothing absolutely nothing like we had seen there uh, over the prior couple days here we got about 38 earthquakes all microquakes for the most part here looking over here on the left side of the screen there's a 2.4 uh, but other than that not what you want nothing nothing big folks and that was kind of actually expected once we started the sea movement there over there on the western part of the pacific ring of fire uh, the relief over here in this area but uh, it's still you know still possible you know given that there is still obvious pressure not a lot not a lot of movement down here but definitely still pressure out there uh, for an earthquake out there I think the USGS stated uh, you know over the next seven days and that was a couple days ago so we're getting down there on that time frame far as looking at a potential for a large quake but uh, in any given I think they mentioned in any given week there's a one in five thousand chance that a big earthquake could hit here so compared to the one in 500 when we were seeing the uh, uh the, the major swarming kick in there up here to the north ridgecrest area still i mean it's like a almost like a repeat here every day we see uh, uh just a good cluster of quakes there no increase and no decrease at the moment there and no awkward migration uh around the ridgecrest region there same for up here around the Nevada area and also Mavs Lakes. No major quakes over here to report and no major swarming activity going on there as well. Uh, up here in the Bay Area, a little 2.6 near Concord, California. Right smack down, or just off of this, what's this fault system right here? See if I can get this to pop up here. Right there along the Concord fault, it looks like. There's the Greenville. So yeah, just some minor activity. Uh, I know we had seen some swarming down here along the Calaveras fault system. That has since declined and went away. Uh, up here to the north around the Willets, we're seeing some activity as well. Kind of a cluster or cluster of quakes here, southeast of Willets area, all microquakes. Uh, this area was pretty quiet for a while. Seems as though after that 3.5, well, yeah, that's kind of a, a small, small quake, but uh, not microquake, I guess. Right after that 3.5 there, we've seen a pretty good cluster of microquakes around the area. So that's, uh, that's about it for that region. Up here in the Pacific Northwest, still seeing uh, pretty quiet activity. No specific quakes around the Mount Rainier area. Looks like maybe about 10 miles or so to the northeast. We're seeing some uh, small quakes, some small microquakes there. But uh, activity there around the summit looks like it's dying down. Same for the Idaho, Utah region. All pretty quiet right now in the Intermountain West. Uh, as we scoot over here across the board, seeing activity pick up here in Alaska compared to last night where it was uh, relatively quiet up here. Increase in quakes along the Pacific Ring of Fire have increased, obviously. Latest quake here on the globe looks to be a 4.9 over there around Japan. Some more over there around the Philippines and also down here around Fiji as well. Uh, so fairly active, back to normal status, I would say, for the uh, this part of the Pacific Ring of Fire. Um, over here in the North Atlantic Ridge region, little five-pointer out there. 
taking a look at the Yellowstone National Park region here. An area I like to cover when I can, pretty much every update. Pretty quiet, no earthquake swarms, no quakes to report at all at this super volcano. Looking pretty quiet. Uh, what else we got here? Wanted to check out the trimmer map. This here has kind of picked up a little bit compared to last night. Um, on a large scale here throughout the Cascadia subduction zone. You can see the trimmer amounts here uh, really ramping up around Oregon. Parts of uh, Oregon or uh, Washington up there and parts of Oregon uh, in the north and south here as well. California remains relatively quiet as far as slow slip event trimmer. But uh, definitely picking up here. This is the Cascadia subduction zone. An area that's monitored for uh, trimmer movement. Not earthquakes, but just trimmer movement way down below the uh, surface here. And the slippage part, the slipping part of the Cascadia subduction zone. Not the lock part, but the slippage part underneath the uh, North American plate here. 196 earthquakes to report, or 96 ep epicenters to report uh, with the trimmer map tonight. And let's see, this day in earthquake history, real quick, a 8.3 magnitude quake struck back in 1994. Pretty big quake there. I don't, I don't quite remember that year too well. <laughs> I wonder why. Um, near the Kuro Islands, uh, north of Tokyo, looks like, north of Japan region. Pretty uh, large earthquake for that area. Of course, this region right here is where that nine pointer struck back in 2011 and it created that massive tsunami there. So this subducting area, no stranger to major, major quakes out there. Mega quakes is the word. Uh, 7.4 also back in 1983 on this date in earthquake history near Chile. Another major subduction area. Uh, this is an area where, well, the largest earthquake uh, in recorded history has ever taken place. Uh, but not, not back on this date. NM 7.4 in 1983 uh, struck that region there in Chile, creating a bunch of havoc in the... Uh, all sorts of uplift. All right, folks, um, I'm going to jump off here. I hope everyone has a good night and had a good weekend out there. We are going to leave the earthquake watch effect for California up for one more day, 124, or at least for 24 hours here as we uh, go into tonight and into tomorrow. Uh, if the swarm tends to die down or dies off even more, we will cancel that earthquake watch. But uh, just because it's slowing down doesn't necessarily mean that it's completely over. That's, uh, that's a fact. Have a good night, folks. Enjoy what's left of the weekend, which is probably only a couple hours, uh, Monday morning tomorrow. Stay safe, and we will chat you guys later. Peace.